Hi, Eva here. Today I'm filming in my watercolor class and uh, we are painting an elephant inspired by my recent trip uh, to Africa where I went on a safari and I saw tons of elephants. So let's have some fun painting one. All right, so we put water on the whole outside of the elephant. And so, as I said, when you, this is called wet into wet, what we're gonna do here for the background. We're doing the background wet into wet. So we put water on and we make sure we don't get any water into Mr. Elephant here. Um, so do you leave a space up until like where the line is? Yeah, I leave like a millimeter, which is something very little. <laughs> very little, but yes, I don't go all the way up to the line because the water does seep a little bit. So I don't want it to seep into the elephant. And I can always do the precise thing, and I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it in a little bit, but I just need to get water on the whole darn thing. Oops, and I dripped on his ear, on his ear. Luckily, it's right in the middle there. We're not gonna get any pigment on there. So. Do you always do the background first? No. Okay. Um, and I don't, I didn't have to do the background first here, but now I think just because, you know, we're just starting our class. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of new painters. This is kind of like easing into it because mm -hmm. this is quite easy. Can you see now that I hold mm -hmm. him up? Mm -hmm. Can you see that we yeah. got water mm -hmm. all over and I kind of kept a little distance. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of water on here. It's almost pooling and sometimes you know, you can go with a little bit less water and then you might have to apply water more than once. All right, so let's see here. Up on the top, I want just blue. Ooh. Boop, boop, boop. I want some blue up here. Go down like this. And now I can just, and see, when you do wet into wet, can you see how everything just flows? And that's mm -hmm. why I say, you know, you don't have any control or very little control here. The only control you have is that the pigment's gonna go wherever you put water, whether you want it to or not. That's why it's kind of important to keep the water out of the elephant if you don't want the pigments go in there. And go like this and a little bit down here. There's that, and I can always, use a little bit of a smaller brush once we need to get into the nitty gritty. So now I'm just gonna clean up while it's still wet. So you gotta be kind of, with this step, you got, you can't be dilly dallying around. You gotta get it done. Because you know, the minute the water starts to dry and the pigment starts to dry, you know, your window is closing. So you're just like removing that darker outline that happens is that uh right now i'm just fine-tuning oh gotcha the line so you know where i kind of missed a little bit and let's see here i have i have one little piece in here where i didn't put water because it's such a small little piece i'm just going to put it in here there you can see a little bit through his oh, his oh, legs it. there and then i'm just going to Put a little bit more blue down here. And now I'm gonna introduce some yellow. Mm. Woo. You know, I mean, this is just for fun, right? I mean, this is not, and I want a little bit of yellow in here because that would be what you see through here, right? Mm -hmm. And now I wanna go with a bigger brush. And let's get some more blue. I totally didn't get enough blue. Make sure I mix, mix enough puddle sets, you know. And can you see how I also got a little bit of a Green. Yes, yeah, but now I get green because that's what I want here. I was just in Africa and it was it's summer there now. Sure. And it was very green. Where were you? Uh, Africa. Where? In, yeah, where? where? Um, I was in uh, Zimbabwe and Zambia and Botswana and South Africa. Cool. Cool. Did, did, was it so, an independent trip or did you go with a group? I went with a group, a uh, wonderful group. Um, overseas adventure, adventure travel. travel. I did the same trip. Oh, did you? <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. Ten oh. years ago. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, that was super. Yeah. Super, super. Cool. 
Okay, so you, can you see how I'm just, and can you see how the blue and the yellow, they're just kind of mixing into each other here? Mm -hmm. Now I want to get- Pardon me? Did you get to paint or you took yeah. a lot of photographing? I took, I, I took 1800 Ooh, plus uh, <laughs> photos. I Whoa. did very little painting. I had all my equipment with me, so to speak. I mean, you know, my little travel kit and all that stuff. You know what, by the time, you know, you're, you're back in your, 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 your cabin and stuff, you're, keep you very you're exhausted. I mean, they you know, you busy, huh? they, they wake you up like oh. at 5.30, wakey, wakey. <laughs> um, and then you are, you know, breakfast at six uh, in the, in the, in the cars at um, 6.30. And then you are, you know, out in a bush until lunch or sometimes yeah. you know through lunch and um you know, you know, you know, it doesn't sound like my lifestyle so <laughs> <laughs> early mornings but you go to bed early too at night so yeah yeah you go so to bed early but it's just <laughs> i didn't i don't have energy I, I i always think i will but i don't have the energy to uh do much painting so yeah. it was very little sure but now sure. i'm you know working with my photos and going to be painting stuff. All righty, that's going to be my background. And I think I want to throw a little bit of the burnt shenai in, a little bit Just more of the blue. Just sort of on the bottom. Just, yeah. Shadow it a little. Huh? Yeah. So how do you get white, you know, like highlights in there? Do you just take paint off? Uh, you, I'm you not going to, I mean, there's not, the highlight's going to be on the elephant. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to have highlights in my background. Okay. And I have it light, lighter yeah, like here, yeah. yeah. But if I want it, you know, if you want to have the white, then you need to leave it. But I don't want white in my background. That's, you know, I reserve my whites for my subject matter, which is my elephant. So the white is just the absence of color. You yes, just correct. Paint it with white. Right. We don't have anything like that, right? Right. That's yeah. that's correct. And let's see here. We could do a little something fun. And I have extra credit cards. I have a whole bag full of them. Or, you know, extra credit cards, room keys, whatever. I like to often do a little bit on my foreground with... I scrape a little bit, you know. And I can also do some... Now, is that changing the surface of the paper already? Uh, yeah, it is because so the paper is wet and so it's, you know, it's quite sensitive. You won't paint over that then? Oh, I can. No. Oh, absolutely. I can paint over that, but I still, I want that texture. Yeah. So, so there, there's a little something going on in the foreground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sort of reminiscent of grass. Yeah, yeah grasses grass. and that kind of stuff. Grass, Maybe a few yeah. rocks, who knows? Mm -hmm. It's, I keep it very loose. This is not supposed to be like, you know, really, you know, detailed rendering or anything like that. It's watercolor, and you can do detail with watercolor, but it's not really most of the time my style. I do some things with where it's much more, you know, detailed. But I want to save the details for the elephant, not not for the background. That's just, you know, you've got to have something there. And I want to have a little color behind him so that those white areas I leave that they stand out. And if you want to, uh, say you wanted to, uh, lighten you can totally lighten things while it's, it's now it's damp right mm -hmm. so if i make a brush wet then squeeze out all the water it's called a thirsty brush and then i can go in while it's still damp and i can pick up oh, oh i can yeah yeah you can see oh, you can pick up a little bit of color like that and then you have to rinse it again but i mean not necessary for this and i can go in before it dries on me completely. Whoops, that's not the blue I wanted. This is the blue I wanted. And I'll go in here. And I'll take a little bit, see? Now I'm mixing my French ultramarine blue with that burnt shenna. Can you see I get like a dark brown or I get a dark gray? And I could go in and do a little bit dark in a couple of places here if I feel like it. Voila. <coughs> There we have it. So now it's your turn. The reason I need to use a little bit more French ultramarine blue as opposed to just having my cobalt blue is that cobalt blue, you can almost see it here in the well. It doesn't go all that dark. So for those areas in the elephant where I need him to be like really dark, 
it's not gonna really do it for me. So I need I need the French ultramarine blue for my really dark areas. And let's see, this is the one where I really have to mush it around a little bit. Okay, so I have the colors I think I want in my elephant. I have cobalt blue, I have quinacridone red. I do have some yellow if I need it. I don't think I wanna put yellow in him though. But I have my Burt Jenner and then that French ultramarine blue for the dark. So he's gonna be a little bit more on the purpley side, I think. <laughs> Let's see. So I want it quite, so there's a line there. I don't think that really belongs anywhere. Yeah. I want to paint his body part and I'm gonna leave the, ear, the ears and his head and the trunk dry. Cause that's gonna be lighter and brighter and the body is more in the shade, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we will wet the body. So I'm gonna do all this wet into wet also. So I'm just gonna wet, and I wanna, you know, use the white of the paper for my white. And then I think it goes like this around there. And right now I'm not gonna worry about front leg, back leg, anything like that. I'm just going to paint his whole body here in one go for now. And then later I'll separate it by putting some darks in or maybe lifting a little bit out. So we want to keep it simple. So we go from like bigger shapes to smaller shapes. I'm speeding up the video while I put the rest of the water on. I did not do the trunk because the trunk is lighter. Uh -huh. okay. And um, or his, uh, or his Tusks. Tusks, tusks, that's what they're called. Tusks. Yeah. So can you see? There we have it. All right. So I'm going to start with something dark right here. So I'm just, I dipped into my French ultramarine blue. Because it's going to be really dark there. So I'm just going to put, and see how it flows out and it stops where it hits the dry. Oh. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's that's the only control you have, I so see. to speak. Yeah, so you're outlining uh, the trunk. I'm outlining the trunk, correct, and the tusks, and I'm mm -hmm. just putting a little bit of that blue in because it's going to be a darker right there. It's not going to stay blue, but I just want to have it dark there, and it's going to be dark down to here. That just helps me a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good enough. And then here is how that goes. You can see a little bit of his body. Okay, so I'm not even going to bother cleaning out my brush. Right I'm going right in the red, actually. Oh, yeah. Just because. Mm. And I can do whatever, you know, it's, it's my elephant, so, you know, I can do whatever <laughs> color I think he should be. He can be pink. Right? <laughs> if I wanted to. So I put a little bit of the red in, so that obviously is gonna make it more purpley, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that. And which red did you use again? The quinacridone okay. red. Okay. And um, this leg is the back leg, so that's also gonna be quite dark. So I can go down. Can you see how purple that looks now? I kinda like it, so. All right, and then here, could go here too. There's that. And now I'm, again, I'm not even going to clean out my brush. Now I'm going to go into my um, burnt sienna. And again, I'm dabbing some of that in there. And you know, I know if I mix enough colors, what happens? Mud. Mud, or since I do it on purpose, neutrals. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, you know, I want it dark. And there's it, a little bit of the ear. Sorry, elephant, I had to shorten your tusk. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, this is something that I personally am a big fan of. I love letting the colors mix on the paper. I don't, you don't see me do a whole bunch mm -hmm. of mixing around here because I think it gets more boring that way because then it's all like the same color. And then when I let them mix and mingle on my, on my paper, 
I create all sorts of really fun colors and I happen to like that. So now I'm just, you know, dipping into various and sundry colors and you're not dipping make into it the dark. water very much, right? Pardon me? You're not dipping into the water very much. No, I'm not because I have quite a bit of water on my, uh, in, in my uh, color mixes here. So here, want a little bit more blue in there. And so I'm just having fun right now with this, you know, these so, different colors. So you're really just filling in the whole trunk, even though the, the legs are there and the... I'm, the I'm not, the and, trunk is here. I don't mean the trunk, but yeah, the, 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 the legs, right. yeah, I'm not worried about... Going, they're going to get definition later. Later, exactly. I'm just painting the whole body and legs right. in, more or less in one with a little bit of attention to, you know, I did, did it a little darker up underneath there because I know for sure that's going to be dark. Does but, it bother you it's brown and not gray? No. <laughs> it's my elephant <laughs> and this. <laughs> <laughs> it's my elephant. I don't know. I, mean, I gotta work, work yeah. on that. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> it doesn't bother me license? one bit because I want him to be different than, you know, this one was that elephant and now this is a new elephant. And They're not all gray. So for, no. your, for your no. purpley color, did you use the cobalt and the quin quinacridone? I have not used cobalt yet. But now I'm putting. You're still with the French ultramarine. Yeah, we're still with the French because I was you know, concerned about getting those darks. And now I'm going into a little bit of the cobalt and see, oh. I can totally tone down that brown because now I'm, see, now I'm putting some blue on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. and you know, the blue and, and orange, mm -hmm. which, you know, burnt sienna is just a dirty orange. And let's get a little bit more water on here. And then I want to have him darker in there. Because the shadow from the trunk. Yeah, the trunk. and just yeah. away from the light. So, and if you don't want your elephant to be so wild and crazy in color, you don't have to do it, you know? <laughs> absolutely no. I just have fun um, mixing the colors here. And put a little bit more in here. And as long as it's still wet I can add color and it'll flow out now I have to be a little careful I'm gonna rinse out my brush here a little bit and um, maybe I'll put a little bit of red on my tip here mm. and I have to uh, get this thing done before it dries on me and I don't want can you see how all the colors are flowing seamlessly mm -hmm. into each other yeah. mm -hmm. soft transitions that's yes. what I want I don't want to see any brush lines and that's why you kind of got got to keep it fairly uh, fairly damp and get it get it on while it's it's still wet once it starts drying once I go in again um, you know, I'm going to start getting bleed backs and stuff like that and stuff is going to happen or you can start seeing brush yeah. strokes and I don't want that. I'm good with this body for now. See, I got a little lighter on this side and if I, yeah, I think it's pretty good. So I can make my brush thirsty again if I want to make sure that it's, it has a little bit of a highlight there. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So you wipe the brush. I what clean it yeah. so clean okay. it out and then squeeze it's like when you wring out a sponge okay. uh, and you know you, mm -hmm. you, you you drop something on a kitchen mm -hmm. table or something uh, and then here I forget about that when I'm doing it you can also lift out here a little bit right mm -hmm. can you see already now I'm gonna yeah. I'm yes. kind of telling you that yes. there's a leg there uh -huh. yeah and now I'm gonna leave it alone I'm good with I personally am good with uh, the colors I have there I kind of think they're fun but you know, if you want yours gray, just do blue and burn <laughs> shenna. <laughs> so you never okay. used the cobalt blue? I did, I did. I but I used it here, and I used it here. Okay. So In the end, I used it. No. Mine's dry or dry enough, and you know, I, this body still needs a little work, but overall, you know, it's it's fine for for now. So now we're going to do this ear because that's, see how that's nice and confined? Mm -hmm. So that'll be easier to deal with. And then we'll tackle the other one. And then the, the last part is going to be the trunk. I like to take things like a little bit in, uh, 
you know, little sections because then it's not so overwhelming and like, <gasps> um, so, you know, start with the areas that we kind of know what's going on. And I want to leave, I really like to have that white highlight on his head. So I want to leave that, and I I kind of penciled in, and here I'm, it's my little obsession with the, the lines that I don't like. So anyway, I'm going to put water again, and you know I'm quite generous with the water. And see how I didn't mention that earlier. See how I go from here, then I do like this, and then I go on here, my water control station. And what I sometimes forget, but it's is you know sometimes. You know, you'll have these droplets, the droplets on the ferrule, I think it's called, um, and sometimes they have a tendency to fall uh, in a not so good spot. So if I see it, I just kind of take them off. Mm -hmm. And then I do like one little pit stop on the water control. You usually kind of get that little extra drop off that also is going to mess you up. Um, and I do all these things, you know, without even thinking about it. But I try to point it out because they're actually quite important. It's all about the control of the water, and that's, you know, not that easy. And so you're not going a, into the tusk, are you? No, the tusk is going to stay white. Yes. Oh. And no, let me just hold it up so you can kind of see. Can you see where I mm -hmm. put the water on? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to give it a little bit more water. So this apl application of water is actually a very important step also. First of all, the colors is gonna go, go wherever you put water on. You know, you can't put water in somewhere and says, but I don't want any pigment there because it's gonna go there, no matter you want it or not. Um, so yeah, I think I'm pretty good with this. All right, so now, <coughs> I want most of the ear to be a little bit lighter than his body because, you know, they want to separate it and they're closer. So I'm going to go in with some of my cobalt blue. So now I'm not going to go in with the, uh, and see how I'm just dabbing it in? Mm -hmm. Just because I want to see how much it spreads. It's a little test. The wetter your paper is, the more it spreads. Of course, the lighter it dries also. And the more wetness you have on, the less control you have. Can you see how it just runs? Mm -hmm. But it only runs until it hits dry. So that's the, that's the control you have. And that's why it's important you don't put water where you don't want it to run. So I'm gonna paint around this little highlight here. And around his here and then down on his around his tusk put a little bit more color on and I, I uh, let's see it's got to be a little darker there and I want to have a little bit of a lighter area up there this area I think I want it a little lighter so I'm not going to put any pigment there right now and now I'm not going to even um, clean out my brush I'm just going to put the tip into my red here and I'm gonna dab a little bit of that in. See, I just have too much fun doing all this stuff. <laughs> and now, I'm, again, I'm not gonna clean it out, but I'm gonna put a little bit of the burnt shenna on. That's gonna gray it down a little bit. <laughs> I know the cobalt grays it down too. Well, yeah, the cobalt is, you know, the cobalt and the burnt shenna, they are going to create a gray or a brown, all depending on how much of each color you put in. So here we are. And now I think I wanna rinse out my brush a little bit and I'm gonna flip it around. I flip my paper and my painting around so that I don't put my hand in wet paint. And so that it's the easiest, as easy as possible for me to do those strokes. So now I wanna, said I wanted a little lighter here. So that means I don't have very much pigment, if any, on my brush, and I'm just going in here and pulling it out. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that with the blue or the burnt sienna? Yeah, both no, of them. No, Wherever, no, you know, I put a little mix of both on here. So yeah. there's, can you see how, then I yes. get a little yes. light on his ear yes. here? I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I have a little bit more time. I like I like the color combination yes. I have here. I kind yes. of think it looks pretty. So you know, again, I'm not so much about you know realistic. I want to get the feel of the elephant. So now my brush is not so wet, and I put the tip into this pretty dry. I mean, it's not dry, but it's you know it's not like super wet. Cause see, it's quite concentrated. Um, French ultramarine blue, and then I'm going to put the tip into a little bit of the burnt sienna also because actually I want to go in here and put a little darkness. That's where his eye is going to be. And I want to darken a little mm -hmm. bit down here maybe also. Along the tusk. Yeah, just along the tusk and here. Just stab in a little bit. Not too, too blue. So now I'm going to put a little bit more burnt sienna in to kind of grade down. And like this. I think I kind of like that. So and when you started out, you started out with the cobalt blue? Yes. Okay. Started out with the cobalt. Cobalt doesn't go very dark. Okay, I kind of like his ear like that, so I'm going to leave it. I like that. And it doesn't look exactly like how I have it here, but I'm not... This is just, you know, a reference. Right. It's one way of doing him, and now this is another way of doing him. So I'm good with that. And I'm going to leave that here, and then I'm going to let you go down and paint an ear. Okay. Okay. So I'm very happy, actually, with the way my ear dried. I really like it. It looks really nice. Um, and you can see when you let the colors uh, blend and mix and mingle like this, it's like it already kind of gives some texture and some movement to the ear. So I don't have to work so hard on, you know, putting anything in because the colors do it for me. And that's one of the reasons I'm a huge fan of, you know, just doing it like this. Um, I think it's, you know, it's, it creates some good textures and good movements without too much hassle. So here I wanna leave a little bit of white highlights. How do I wanna do this? Um, so I'm going to put in a little bit here, a little bit here. I want to have some of these white highlights here because I like it. I think it looks good. Um, so I'm putting a little bit of water on there. So here. Oh, OK. Yeah. So I'm just putting a little bit of water in a couple of spots there. And we can always adjust. And then here. And then I want to have a little space there. And I'm, I'm going to hold it up so you can see where I put the water. I'm just speeding up the video a little bit here while I put the water on the, uh, the elephant's uh, ear. Is yeah. yeah. Well, here behind the ears, they have a very, very thin layer of skin. So uh, they can cool their blood down by fanning the ears. That's what we were told doesn't mean they're mad. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I can hold it up now. You can kind of see where I put the water. Can you see? Can I see? Yeah, can you see it? Okay, and uh, I think it's good enough. So I'll do the same as I did the first time around because that seemed to work really well. I'm going to start out with just a little bit of my cobalt blue. You're going up to the top on that side. Yeah, on this side, I'm just going, you know, I want to have some color here. And then I'm going to leave some white, some little highlights on his ear. And like that. And then I'm gonna leave a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit around here. And then around his tusk there. And I wanna do the same thing as I did in the first one, which is, you know, um, Uh, have it lighter 
out towards the end of his ear. So now I'm gonna go in and not even rinsing out my brush. I'm gonna dip into some of the French ultramarine blue and then a little bit into the burnt sienna. So I dipped in a little bit of French ultramarine blue and then in some of the burnt sienna here. And then I wanna have it a little bit darker here. A bit more bluish. And definitely want it dark here on this side of the, you know, that'll bring out the tusks too. And the burnt sienna, you know, is the one that tones down my blues so they don't look too, too blue. And now I better, I don't have as much water on my ear, I can feel. So now I want to get a little bit of the red on, get a little bit of the uh, cobalt. And I better move fast here because can you see how it does? I can feel that it doesn't run as much as the other side. I didn't put as much water on. So I better get going here. So do we want to have ours pretty wet? Yeah. So there. That's never a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into blooms. <laughs> and I think I want to pull it out a little bit like that. Soften this a little bit, and I want to have a little bit of that. Just like I never like to have, even here where it's just like a highlight, I want to have some repeat color on the other side so it doesn't look like you know it's a border or something like that. See that? And now I am at the stage where I should get the heck out of there and not mess around with it anymore. <laughs> and I got a little bit of a run here because I apparently got some water on. So while it's still damp, I can kind of pick that up. That's good and enough I really for now. I like that dark closer to his head. That yeah, exactly, that because it's gonna push the head out. And that's exactly it's it. We really wanna put good. light and dark, I mean, dark behind light yeah. and the light pushes next to dark. And dark pushes back and light brings forward. And obviously we want our elephant to look like he has, you know, head a head is out and uh, has shape. So I'm okay with this. So, uh, same colors, but we now we're gonna keep it fairly light and uh, quite a bit of white on the trunk where it catches the light. So obviously the light is coming from this side here. And that means when we put the shadow on, it has to be cast this way, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we'll put a little shadow underneath him. It, shadows are always good to put, uh, put underneath anything, you know, that way, um, that way it kind of grounds whatever it is you're painting, elephant or person or rock or whatever. What does? A shadow. Oh, the shadow. So we get, when we get to that, but not yet. Let's just uh, get the, face on. So I'm going to try and think about where I want to leave the white highlights. And I want to have a little bit of a highlight down on his brow here. And then the eye is going to be super dark. And then it's going to be down here, the trunk. And I'm going to put water on only on this right side of the trunk because I wanna have lots of highlights on the left side of the trunk. Gosh, see, this is what happens to your brushes when they're wooden handled and they have, you know, the lacquer or whatever, and as somebody like yours truly leaves them like that, it's really not a good thing. Not a good thing, it's not good for the brushes. Okay, so we'll put a little bit more water in here and I you know it helps when you talk to yourself when you do this stuff <laughs> and so now I'm just trying and I want to keep that brow here is highlighted like here you know because that sticks out a little bit so that's why we want to have a little bit of highlight on that and then so you kind of leave the trunk going up farther into the head there because of course I mean, there's a highlight, but is that, it, it this, almost looks like This is the brow stuff. kind of a thing. Oh. When you get done with your water, could you show us? Yes, I'm gonna hold it up. 
always I'll always hold, hold it up so well, you can see it what looks like I did. All the marks that we had from the etching are where the water is. You've you've erased it all, but yeah, it follows the. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't put any water in there. So I just put water on the right side of his trunk, right. away from the light. Mm -hmm. And that way I can kind of drag a little bit of pigment into the dry area uh, and get right. some of those ridges. Because I can tell you they have a lot, a lot, a lot of wrinkles, wrinkles all the over the place. And the I, I'm going to show you again, just needed to reinforce. So here is where okay. I put the water on. Okay, left it. So just on the shadow side of the trunk. Okay. Did you put any under his eye there? I put some um, in his eye here. But, you know, can you see it? And not in, of course, the I mean, tusks. Pretty much we're just going to follow what you yeah. did here. Yeah, and it's pretty much like yeah. here, you know. I yeah. mean, I put water on there and yeah. then no water on this side because in, my idea is I want to drag over. Mm -hmm. the um, the pigment. So I'm going to put some red and maybe put a little, uh, some blue, French ultramarine, no, cobalt blue. Cobalt and blue. mainly cobalt blue. And I, I put a little purple in uh, for good measure. Uh, not purple, cobalt but red. So that, and red. yeah, the red and then the cobalt. And so I want to put like here. And it's lighter here, some more water. And I don't mind having a little bit of a highlight there. And this can go out here. And just like that. And I wanna put a little bit more blue in. I don't want them to look too purpley. And I'll put a little bit of that in. Just the same colors as before. You know, I don't want it to look like all of a sudden this is a completely different color. That's what my problem was with my ears. One was one color and the other one was another color. <laughs> <laughs> and then here, I want to put like, yeah, yeah it's your right. elephant. And I don't want it to be too brown either. So, you know, and you know, you can always adjust always you can always adjust if, you, if it gets too brown put some more blue in if it gets too blue put some more of the red and the brown in and then we want to go like here that's where the trunk has some color and let's put a little bit of the red in I like how her stays right where she puts it how does that work <laughs> <laughs> it's you know practice practice exactly Practice. She makes it look so easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my job. <laughs> and so down here, um, gosh, so a, a good 15 years now. I need a little yeah. bit more of that. I want the truck to have a little color down here. And now I want to have it softer. On this side, I don't want like, you know, to be a hard edge here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now I see I'm taking the water out of my brush. Mm -hmm. And now let's go in and do some of wrong. these here. Is that your red and blue mix? Yeah, it's, you know, and it doesn't matter so much what color it is. It matters what we do with the, can you see, we need to get some of these in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that says, you know, all these wrinkles on the truck and not too light down nice. there. And so this is what we want. Some of this stuff going on here. That's the back. Are you putting it into paint or water? I am putting it into paint. And I'm having not so much water on my brush. Can you see how I go back on my right. uh, water control yeah. station all the time? Because now I want to get like almost like dry brushing, where it kind of skips. Like. Yeah. yeah, it is exactly what it looks like. So that's why we gotta try and get some of that in. And if we get a little bit up here, he's kind of wrinkly. Oh. Can even go into a little bit of there. Kind of like the birch trees. Yes, it is kind of like the birch trees. 
good analogy. And see, if I can just get a little bit, these are gonna flow out a little bit, but I like that. She's painting them. Okay. There. And we can put a little bit more. So you put a little more on the edge of the ear? Is that, or is that what you do? No, uh, on here. Where it connects to the head. Yeah. Right Around. here. Yeah. Eyebrow wrinkle. It. Yeah, exactly, because he has these wrinkles. And we can even go into there would be good. And I'm just looking at, now I'm, so now we're at the stage, we got to look more at what happens here than what looks, what it looks yeah. like mm -hmm. there. Because now we are in this stage where, you know, this has to make sense, no matter what the reference says. So I'm, I'm pretty okay with what I've got going on here. Yeah, I love that reflection on his. Uh, and then we want to go in and, you know, he has an eye there. So I'm going to go in and do a little bit here. And we can darken a little bit under there too. There. And a little bit. So this is very dry paint. So can you see when the paint is dry, it doesn't flow out as much. Mm -hmm. It stays more, but I don't want it too hot. I don't want like a circle or anything mm -hmm. like that. It has to flow out a little bit. So now I have to kind of start thinking about leaving that alone, I think. I think I need to leave that alone. Maybe, maybe just a couple more little darker ones. And again, let's get that water off. And then I, while um, that dries, I could go in here. Give him nostrils? No, <laughs> um, but his, you know, this, oh, I am painting this him. back leg. Oh, he's oh, yeah. I was right? wondering why I had oh, this bulge on that leg yeah. and I tried to get rid of it. <laughs> but that is the back leg and it's, yeah. it has to be darker than the front, right? So I can put in a little mm. bit of that. So yeah. there was that. So that makes more sense. Can you see? Yes. 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 That's that back leg. And then there is one more thing we can do with that. So I don't have very much water on my brush now. It's, you know, mm. qu pretty uh, pigmented. And then I want to go in and put a little bit of darkness here. It's the back leg that you can see, oh, and then, yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. his stomach. I wanted to kind of separate those two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. I don't want to do the, the same dark the whole way, but just so there is a difference here and there. And so, what color were you using? Was that so, cobalt or was that ultramarine? No, anytime I want something really dark, I use ultramarine, ultramarine. blue, French okay. ultramarine blue, okay. and the burnt sienna, and more blue than burnt sienna uh, most of the time, because I wanted like more blackish. Mm -hmm. Uh, and see now how that eye floated out a little bit here. Mm -hmm. So now it's time for me to go in with even darker color, very, very concentrated pigment and back into the burnt shinna and that French ultramarine blue. And see, I'm just doing it on the tip here. Mm -hmm. And I'm using it, you know, a number, whatever, 10 brush or whatever it is. And now I can go in and I, I'm gonna dab in a little bit more of that just to get that even darker. Mm -hmm. But now it doesn't flow out as much. But I still get those softer edges, so it doesn't look weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think I'm okay with that. And let's see what else was. Uh, there's another thing we can do here. So now I want to rinse that out of my brush. And there is, there is these little, I don't know what they are, but. They have kind of like a little something over the tusks here. There's yeah. a little bit like that. There's one on the other side. Yeah, like and the animals. same on the other side. Uh, Just it's like a whisker. Like yeah. So sort of like, oh, okay, I'm thinking cuticles on your nail. You know? <laughs> no. okay. So there we have that. What else do we need? Okay, so there's one more thing I feel we could do, and that's also making it darker, 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 but maybe not too, too dark. So it's also as if we should have a little bit of darkness there, right? Where that leg mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna, and then I'm, I'm not gonna do it the whole way, the same color, and then I'm gonna go in behind. I think I can go in behind the trunk now. And just darken a little bit there. 
but see, I don't want to get it all so that it all goes <laughs> together again. I wanted to keep that little bit of separation between mm -hmm. his belly and that la back leg we could see. But can you see that little, mm -hmm. just little things like that? Can you mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It, it just give him a little bit more shape mm -hmm. without going overboard. And we also need to darken, I feel. This is all, you've got to look at your painting and see what it needs. That That's the stage we're at now. You look at it and don't do a whole bunch. Don't do like go in with like the big guns, so to speak. You See, I just put a little pigment on. Mm -hmm. I see how that looks. Was that a good choice or was it a bad choice? If it was a bad choice, you know, tiptoe out again and dab it off. Mm -hmm. And um, and so here, I, I do feel that I need, I would like to have it a little darker here behind his trunk, right? Mm -hmm. To kind of make that a little bit more dramatic. And again, I rinse out my brush and then I go in. And then now I can, because there's also a little bit of that going on on the legs. Mm -hmm. So we could go in and do a little bit like that from, from there some of those wrinkly things. And let's do the same things here. And there's also a little bit like, you know, this little nails or whatever it is. Just a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. And then we can go in here. It's also a little bit darker. And I, I, I do a few like this way, stripey thingy magics. Rinse it out so it's not, you know, we have to be subtle. You don't want it to look like a zebra all of a sudden. That's pretty okay. So now he's already, I mean, I feel, and now his body is kind of split up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And there's highlight on the trunk. The eye is pretty okay. Maybe just one more time in and do a little something. A little bit more there. Just darken that a little bit and then A little bit more than I think is good. So you don't soften the it. Side necessarily the same because it's in a different. It's place. it's uh, very much in the shadow. So now I have to wait for it to dry, and I let you go down and do yours, and then we'll do a last evaluation of it and do the last little tweaks and lift out those highlights. So I'm pretty happy with how this eye turned out. I mean, you know, again, we're not painting like eyes, eyes. We, they are little dark hollows. Uh, in his face and overall I can live with this elephant um, <laughs> he is your elephant he is my elephant uh, there's always little things we can do to uh, tweak here and there but I don't you know again it's a loose painting this is not this is not like a rendering for some uh, you know botanical or or fauna book, you know. This is just a loose interpretation of an elephant. And I kind of think he's okay. You, I mean, I could go in and do kind of a few more little of these here, a couple of places up here. Maybe he looks a little too unworried. Let's give him some worry lines here. Just a little bit, but again, it's really less is more with this kind of stuff. But you know, we can just mm -hmm. do a few little of those and not overdo it. That's, you know, overworked is not good. Um, and then I, I'm gonna do one other thing and that is I'm gonna just clean up my palette. Gonna take my red, my brown, my this, my this. And sooner or later I should get kind of like a dark color. Nothing goes to waste here. There we go. That'll that'll work. Um, and then the light is obviously coming from this side because it's hitting his trunk there and you know his head and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna catch his the bottom of his legs. There's a little, and then there, and here, and here, here. And then I'm just gonna throw a shadow just to kind of ground him. Yeah. 
that's good enough there so then he's kind of can you see that mm -hmm. that kind of grounds yes. him he's standing yeah. there and then one other little thing I want to do um, and that is I'm, I want to give him that little white twinkle in his eyes because right now he looks kind of dead so and I'm using an exacto knife and you just want to get just a little bit out like that can you see how that makes a difference? Mm -hmm. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Then he's alive. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's all it takes. Don't do a big old white. You and so you could do it with the exacto knife. I mean, that is kind of like you know. Then you've damaged the paper in a sense, but it, which is totally fine. But I mean, you can't really paint over and stuff when you've done that. Or you can also use a white gel pen, oh. like this one here, and you could go in and do a little, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's all you need. Now he's alive. And I think, I think I'll just leave it like that. You could go in and you could do this, you could do that. I'm not gonna do it. Of course, he's, he's good enough. One thing that bothers me, now that I think of it. I don't like, see, remember how I lift it out there? Mm -hmm. I need to soften that a little bit because that kind of looks odd in my book. So just there, I just need to soften that a little bit. Just so it wasn't that stripe up the neck, like, like that. He's I think that's better. Mine looks like it needs to go to Jenny Craig. <laughs> I'm celebrating diversity. So I hope you had a lot of fun uh, trying to paint your own elephant, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Happy painting!